What up, people? Smitty at Smitty Shop. Just got a truckload of toolbox here. Uh, ordered another extreme box. This is a slightly smaller, cheaper version of my uh, my big gal over there. That's a 72 inch box, 30 inch deep. This one's 72, uh, 25 inches deep. It's a secondary box, so I just I, I want to just show you how they well they package this. It's all. Uh, they put some nice heavy stuff to, uh, to protect it. So uh, give me a few minutes to get some of this crap out of the way and uh, I'll show you what we got. There she is all unboxed. Uh, quick couple of first impressions. Um, it's the same height. I'm just, I, of course I'm gonna compare it to my, my big box, my 30 inch deep one, which is the EX series, I guess this is RX. So they make a couple of different versions of these 25 inch deep boxes. This is 72 by 25, by the way, I know I mentioned that, but um, this one happens to be the 16 drawer version. I think they also make a 19 drawer. I wanted the 16 drawer um, because the drawers are a little bit deeper and I'll be putting a lot of cased tools in this. Uh, Impression wise, I'm for you know what's supposed to be a cheaper toolbox. I like that it's got the positive latch setup on it. My other box doesn't have that. Now, I bought that box five years ago, maybe. I don't think they had it at that point. Um, casters are decent, they're not spring loaded like you see on a lot of bigger boxes like my other one. Otherwise, I would say. Double rollers on the top drawers. Jeez, I mean, they feel real smooth. Uh, it seems to me, so let me back up a minute here. I ordered the stainless steel top. That did not come with it. That was an extra, I wanna say $429. So what you see here to my door uh, was, $24.49. So the box was $19.99 plus the um, plus the top plus whatever shipping and handling or whatever. I, I don't even know. Um, I would say the only thing that you know, so the top isn't as as big. It's not as thick uh, as my EX series. I guess you wouldn't expect it to be, you know, but you know it's was a $400 stainless steel top, which I thought was reasonable. Uh, the handle's a little chintzy. Hollow tube pressed on the end. Eh, you know, for me, it doesn't matter. This box will only get moved um, if I ever need to clean the floor. <laughs> you know how often that happens. Uh, what do we got? So, there's the actual model. CL. 72, 25, 16. So 72 by 25, 16 drawer roll cabinet. Um, for the price, I'm happy with it. For just judging on what I see, and because I have experience with the boxes. It looks a little dull right now because it's got almost like some kind of Cosmoline or something on the paint to protect it, so I'll polish it up at some point. Um, you know, what I was going to buy was a Harbor Freight box for $1,000. There's a 72 by, I think, 20 or 22 maybe, I forget now. It's $1,000, it's a cheap box, it's a second box. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, you know, you read a lot about the doors twisting on those Harbor Freight boxes. I, 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 heard, I read a lot of mixed reviews of, and I am, I'm rough on a toolbox. So I decided to spend the extra $1,500, get the stainless steel top, get the extreme box. All right, well, time to load it up with tools. Oh, and uh, I got a snap on hutch that I'm going to be putting on top of. <laughs> yep. Smitty, out. What up, people?
Basketball, Smitty, at Smitty Shop. Yeah, we're getting ready to do it again. Got another snap-on hutch. Uh, I'm going to put this one on top of the new 25-inch uh, deep 72 extreme box, which is under all that camouflage. You can't even see it. What box? Uh, I'm not going to base coat clear coat this one. Feeling a little lazy. So this is what we're doing to it. We're going to raptor line it. You know, I did that little side box over there attached to my cart with uh, the other stuff there. What do they call that? Dura liner? Roll on stuff? That came out real good. I'm real happy with that stuff. I've been known to bed line a thing or two with that. This is going to be a little bit of an experiment. <laughs> what can go wrong? And there you have it. Not too bad, you know, it'll flatten out as uh, as it dries. I even did the inside. <laughs> it'll look kind of stupid if you open it up, it's all red on the inside. So, that's it. Uh, if you're curious, it took four of those bottles that I showed to do the inside and the outside of this thing, and basically two coats all the way around and then some touch up. And I just had a little, I just kind of burned a little bit out of the the bottom of the fourth bottle just to use it up so there you have it uh, I'll finish this video up once it's mounted on the box all right I guess we're calling this one a done deal hutch is installed got a couple of accessories there can holder which I haven't filled up yet and we got like a it's actually a screwdriver holder but I do what I want Another can holder there. Went ahead and screwed it down. And then uh, on the back, I just put a, a hard afraid uh, outlet strip so I can plug everything in. I did just jump on eBay and order a uh, LED light strip for underneath. And that'll be about it. We're calling this Project Finito. Smitty! Out. All right, quick update on the box. And I promise not to continually uh, talk about the dimensions of it like Rain Man. I must have said the dimensions about 10 times in earlier video clips. Anyway, I've had this thing, I don't know, four or five months now. It's filled up with tools. Uh, overall impression is for the price. I'm very happy with it. Two things that I'll, I'll note. And again, comparing it to my, uh, my big girl back there. Um, which is the EX series. Two things I'll notice, I'll, I'll mention. First of all, I don't know if you can see that. The drawer does not open. I guess the last inch and a half. I've heard this with other boxes. Well, this is the same. Not a huge deal, except you see where my uh, deep well sockets are, which I'm gonna move them. Fully opened, you have to literally tilt, you know, you have to pull on these things, which are plastic. It's only, it's only a matter of time before one breaks. So that's a complaint. The other complaint is, and I can use this drawer too, although it's on all of the long drawers. If you push it from this side, it, it only goes in on this side. So the whole thing kind of, Again, will it, if you, if you force it, will it go? Yes, but you can feel that it's got give on this side, not the other side. And just to compare it to these, and these are 30 inch, 30 inch deep drawers. Um, and this obviously is loaded up. I'm same, probably more effort because there's more weight in this. It moves smoothly. If I poke at it, the whole drawer slowly moves in. It does, there is no flex in these drawers whatsoever. That's the wide drawer, but I'll use a narrow full length drawer as an example. Same thing. There is just no, that whole drawer goes in and I'm pushing on the very end of it. There is no flex. So just to go back to this one, I'm gonna use the wrench drawer as an example. It's another full length drawer. Not nearly as much weight in this one. If you push on this side, 
you can see that. I mean, it goes in, but there's a, I'd say there's about an inch amount of just one side going in before the other side kind of keeps up. Not a big deal at all. It's just something I notice, and I, I have to be mindful to push on those doors from the center rather than from the side. Not that I didn't think it's going to cause any damage or anything. Otherwise, very happy with the box. Um, and I, ironically, just because of the work I've been doing, and if I'm in this bay, I'm typically working out of this box. And over the last several months, I have worked out of this box a lot. So... We'll see how it holds up long term. I have no uh, doubt that it will hold up just as well as my other box, which I've had, I don't know, five or six years. So, two thumbs up for the RX series box. Not going to mention the dimensions. I think it's RX. There's the model number again. And that's it. There's your box review. Smitty, out.